So you're getting into this voice acting, voiceover thing, and you're running into some auditions that are either um, from animation shows or video games, and they have multiple characters. And you're like, am I supposed to record other characters' lines? And I'm here to tell you that no, you do not. All you have to do is record your own lines. So what you can do is just read the other characters' lines. You can even read them out loud. It doesn't matter because you're just going to edit them out. So read them however you like and then answer your lines. Read them, answer your lines. Read them, answer your lines. Whatever the case, you're either going to edit those lines out or edit the space out. You want to leave like a few beats between each of your lines. You don't want them to be like super tight back to back. You want the listener to be able to go like, oh, nice reaction. Oh yeah, nice reaction. You know, leave them a little bit of time between each of your lines. I'd say like three beats. Not too fast, not too slow. And um, that's pretty much it. When it comes to commercial auditions, um, you can also run into situations where you have multiple characters. Again, you'd only record your characters. If you're the, uh, the commercial audition is sort of a typical audition with no characters, just like an announcer or whatever, in that case, you want to be mindful of timing. So if the commercial is supposed to last 30 seconds, you want to come in at about 29, 29.5, 30, but you don't want to go over 30. You want to be exactly 29, 29.5, 30, somewhere in there. Um, not 27, not 32, 33, or 34. You really have to try and get that timing right. Same thing for 15 seconds. You want to come in at 14, 14 and some little hairs, um, just before 15, basically. So not 13 and not 17 or 18. And um, you want to make sure that you get into the timing because that will give the uh, producer or a client really an idea of what you sound like if the pace of the commercial is correct. Sometimes there'll be too much text to fit in into a 30. You're going to be like speeding through it or it'd be super slow. Whatever. That's not your problem. You have to just make it fit within the right timings. If you have very little text and it's at 30 seconds, just space it out. That way you don't have to drag your words. Um, and then that should be pretty much it. If it's a 60 second, same thing, come in at 59. Another thing I want to mention about auditions is that you should always give two takes. That shows enthusiasm for the project and it also shows range. Now to show range, you really want to give two different auditions. Um, what you can do is to give two different attitudes. So if in one of them you're friendly, maybe you could be sassier in the next one. Or if in one of them you're more frazzled, you can be more kind of together in the next take. So you just want to pick two different um, attitudes or emotions just to show that you can do that you're not just a one trick pony. So that will really help you stand out of the pack, especially if you're in the running with multiple other people and you can show that you can do two different things, then it's just like, oh yeah, this this actor, this actress, they have chops. I can I can hire them and they'll be flexible and they'll be able to follow direction. And if the audition is really long, then only do one take. I'm referring to mostly commercials and animation or video games where you only have like, let's say, you know, three pages of dialogue. Because three pages of dialogue with other characters, you generally won't have that many lines and you can do two takes. So that's pretty much it. In another video, I'm going to talk to you about slating. Um, I'm sure you've seen that. You have to slate your name. I'll explain what that is in a different video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them as cleverly as I can.